Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, Microsoft held their 2023 Ignite event. And at this event, um, they have announced a new Windows app. And I've since downloaded the new Windows app, which is for Windows and Mac uh, devices. And apparently it's one single app now, um, which you can connect to any device or apps across Windows 365. Now currently um, it's only available for work and school and enterprise. Um, I've tried to sign in with my personal account and to no avail. So um, obviously if you are a personal account user at this stage, you are not able to use the new Windows app, which by the way can be downloaded uh, from the uh, Microsoft Store. Um, it's still in preview, but nonetheless, if you want to try it out and you do find yourself um, having a Windows um, 365 subscription, as an example, you can try out the new Windows app. Now, Microsoft says, um, what is Windows app now? What Microsoft says about this is that the Windows app, and I'm quoting this, is your gateway to Azure, virtual desktop, Windows 365, Microsoft DevBox, remote desktop services, and remote PCs, which Microsoft says securely connects you to Windows devices and apps. And they say you can use Windows app on many different types um, of devices on different platforms and form factors such as desktops and laptops, tablets, smartphones, and so on, and through a web browser. And when using a web browser on a desktop or laptop, you can also connect without having to download and install any software. So just bringing your attention to this. And uh, um, at this stage, it also offers a couple of extra additional features. And um, at this stage, it supports uh, multi-monitors. So if you have a multi-monitor setup, it carries support for that. Uh, it carries support for custom display resolutions, dynamic resolutions, and scaling. Uh, device redirection support. So example, webcams, audio storage devices, or printers. And Microsoft Teams optimizations, and but they didn't actually specify at this stage what those optimizations are. And all um, connections are available currently for enterprise, as mentioned, work or education accounts. And at this stage, um, if you do download the app and try to sign in with a personal account, you really are not going to get uh, too far. But nonetheless, just bringing this to your attention because it's basically collating a whole lot of, a lot of different services into one app. So I think if you are finding yourself in an enterprise work or education environment, this may be a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.